Hey guys, this is Sultan Waller. This is my grad session interview. All right, so thanks for joining us today for the interview. This is your first year at St. Louis Christian. Yes. Where are you originally from? I'm from the United Kingdom. And when did you actually come to the U.S.? Fall of this year. I came here fall of this year. So this is your first year in the grind session. Yes, it is. And due to COVID-19, we're not having to play all of our games in bubbles. Yes. What has it been like for you and the rest of your teammates playing in the bubbles in the grind session this year? Well, the bubble has been really good for us because like, we've done a lot of team bonding, such as on our rest days, is yoga, um, team speaking. We just really built a big relationship between all of us, and now I feel like we can collect it as a team. It really helped us win a lot of games together, just knowing each other and stepping outside of our comfort zone. So, do you like yoga? Do you think that actually helps your basketball? Well, yeah, I like the yoga. It really, really helps. I'm just stretching my bones. Well, sometimes it can be really painful, but like, I just fight for it, man. And shout out to Roots for doing that. I really appreciate it. That's great. Now, did you play uh, high school basketball in London? No, it was just like national basketball. Like, we just had a league. It was just called the Conference League. I just used to play in it and just have fun. Really. Now, what did your coach uh, say to you when you when you came and told him you were leaving yeah, your club team and coming to the USA you know, to play basketball? He was really happy for me because he knew that was a dream of mine. He knew the goals I had and aspirations I had for myself, so like, he was just really happy when I told him and he had a look at the school and he was like, this is going to be a really good school for me, so he, he was happy about my decision. That's great. Uh, so what's it been like being here in St. Louis and being so far away from your family? Well, first of all, I love my mom. Like, being far away from her was really difficult for me at the start. I wasn't myself at the start. I was crying. I wasn't eating food, none of that. But like, when I got into it after two weeks, I was just like, this is why I'm here. I really love this game of basketball. And Coach Casey and all the other coaches just made me feel happy and feel safe at home. Like I said, I really respect the women's and shout out to That's awesome. So Coach Alper, Casey, seems to be a player's coach. Yeah. What is it like playing for him, and has he changed your game in any way since you've come to the U.S.? I really appreciate Coach Casey, man. I love that guy to death, literally. Like, he made me do a lot of things, like step out of my comfort zone, improve my ball handling, just doing all that individual stuff. And I feel like I have freedom to do some of that stuff now. And uh, he doesn't hesitate me. He doesn't give me any restrictions. So I really appreciate him for that. Now, how old were you when you first started playing basketball? Um, I started playing basketball when I was 14 years old. So about just just about three years now playing basketball. So it's yeah. fairly quickly. Uh, what is it about basketball that makes you love the game? I love the game because like, it's a competitive sport. It's just that. It shows who's the better player to win, and I really like that basketball. It's so competitive. Uh, you know, basketball, there always has to be a winner. In other sports, you can draw a tie or that. In basketball, like, you have to, there has to be a winner and a loser, and I really like that, that basketball. Now, is there any NBA or college player that you really like and maybe model your game after? Um, well, there's two, really. I like LeBron James and Giannis and Pedro Kumpo. I try and model my game after those players, and I feel like they're yeah, one of the players. Now, which colleges are you interested in going to? Well, I reached out Memphis and Illinois reached out to me. I shout out to them. I really appreciate them for recruiting me at this early on stage. And then, uh, yeah, so pretty much my recruiting process is open. Just so any college coaches can just come and reach out to me. But mainly Memphis and Illinois, I appreciate them for reaching out to me early on process. One quick question. Uh, food. Has it yeah. been any different uh, for what you eat? Yeah. Like from London to St. Louis? <laughs> it has been very different. Restaurants like Chick Fil A, all that stuff. Like it was really nice to me when I had it at first. I was like, oh my god, this is so amazing. But just like my coach was just laughing at me, like this isn't nothing. I was like, I ain't got nothing like that in, in um, the UK. I've got Pan Express in Phoenix, um, Whataburger, all that stuff. I really liked it. So yeah, it was kind of new and different to me. The food's a bit cheaper here as well, so it benefits me. Awesome. So what's it like living and, and going to school at St. Louis Christian? Um, it was pretty good. Um, the living environment is really good. We have nice bedding. We got a good, great, great group of teammates. We have two different teams, National and Select, and I live with most of the Select players. They're really cool dudes, and uh, yeah, we do a good job of cleaning our rooms. We have to do it every day and every night. We have to send a video to our coach That's great. to clean the room, and then, yeah, the coach gets onto us about that. He really gets onto us about that. So we have to send him onto our group every night. So yeah, he does a good job of keeping our rooms clean. So, so yeah. Awesome. Thanks for joining us today, and I look forward to watching you in the grind chest in the next two years. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.